Hey everybody, welcome to your little show barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking a Wagyu tomahawk steak from Midland Meat Company. This thing is huge and I've been looking forward, I've had it for just a little while, but I'm looking forward to getting started on it today. This is something I've been wanting to try for a right good while. And it, we're going to be doing a reverse sear on this as well. And we're going to be using uh, the Members Mark kettle grill that I recently uh, received. So let's go ahead and get started on this steak. All right, here's the steak, guys. And you can see it is huge. It's like three inches thick this way. Got some nice marbling in this. And what we're going to do is start off with putting some olive oil all around this. And the seasoning we're going to be using is by Black's Barbecue. And this is out of Texas. And this has no sugar in it at all. This is all like peppers and salts and so forth. So this is what we're going to be using for our seasoning. And since we did dry brine it, I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want it to be overpowered. But this is a thick piece of meat, so I can go pretty liberal with this. Okay, we've got a nice coating on this, and we're going to let this sit. Um, it's already been sitting for about 30 to 45 minutes and I'm going to let this sit until I get the coals nice and hot and we'll see it to grill guys. Alright, we got our charcoal nice and hot. We are using Adrenaline Barbecue's charcoal basket. I don't have their slow and sear. I have one on the way, but this will work for today. And we're going to try to maintain around 250 degrees. And we're going to check this. Now, I like mine medium, possibly medium rare, but I prefer medium. So we're going to go to around 135 internal. And we're going to check it every few minutes, make sure we get keeping the temperature good. And then we'll do our sear from there. So let's go ahead and get the steak on. And we're going to put our probe in, which is by grill eye Let's see if we can get it right in there and we're gonna let it go guys we'll see you back in just a little bit all right the steak is coming along nicely we're about halfway through so what we're gonna do is flip this over and I've got these nice tongs here they're huge by fire sense and I thought it would be appropriate for this steak as big as it is. So we're just going to flip this over. And let it cook some more until we get to that internal temperature around 135. All right, guys, we're around 135, around 140 or so. Like I said, I want to get mine close to medium. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. And we're going to remove the grate and put some more charcoal in there. All right, we're going to get this steak down. Going for about two minutes per side. All right, it's been two minutes. We're going to flip it over. Okay, it's burning a little bit hot on this one side, so I'm going to kind of turn this back over and move this around so it's cooking a little bit more even. Get a good sear on all sides. I'll take it inside and let it rest for a while. Here is this beautiful, beautiful Wagyu tomahawk steak. The smell is amazing. I'm looking forward to cutting into this thing and seeing 
how we turned out here. So let's go ahead and cut into it. Juicy, 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 juicy. Oh yeah. And this again is probably medium, which is what I like. Absolutely amazing. The juices inside this. So we're gonna cut us a few pieces and try it out right quick. All right guys. Here we go. Look how juicy that is. Perfectly cooked. So let's try it. Oh my goodness, guys. Mm. I wish you were here to try this. That seasoning from Black's Barbecue, it's got, like I said, several different salts and several different peppers in there. They enhance that steak so well. It doesn't overpower it has that meaty that wagyu beef meaty flavor that just melts in your mouth like butter um, it's because it's got all that marbling in it. it super super fantastic steak guys super juicy got that nice char that we put on there i probably went in about three minutes on each side this is a huge huge steak and it was cooking a little uneven but i got that perfect sear all the way around and it tastes phenomenal guys this is uh, the first time I've ever done a tomahawk steak and I think it turned out pretty good so guys I think this is a winner for sure thank you so much as usual for watching please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed let all your friends know about it give me some comments hopefully they'll be positive until next time guys thank you so much and God bless